Born on 7th January 1945, Kenya's political history cannot be complete without mentioning Raila Amolo Odini. <laughs> Santo another political icon in Kenya, the late Jaramogi Oginga Odinga, Kenya's first vice president and Kenya's founding father, the late Mzee Jomo Kenyatta. His fight for a democratic Kenya is in sync with his political journey. After completing his university education, Odinga's political destiny shaped up following the most unlikely of circumstances, a failed coup against former president Daniel Arap Moy in 1982. He was placed under house arrest for seven months and later charged with treason and detained without trial for six years. He was released in February 1988, but when he was just about to enjoy his freedom, he was rearrested almost immediately after his release in September 1988 for spearheading pro democracy activism. A few months later, in June 1989, he was released only to be imprisoned again on July 5, 1990 together with Kenneth Matiba and former Nairobi mayor Charles Rubia. Upon his release in June 21, 1991, he fled the country to Norway, alleging government attempts to assassinate him. A time that saw the birth of the Forum for Restoration of Democracy, Ford, a party which fought for multi-party democracy in Kenya. A year later, he returned to Kenya to join Ford, then led by his father, the late Jaramogi Oginga Odinga. Kenya was a one-party state dominated by Kanu, led by former President Daniel Toroitich Arap Moy. But the struggle for a multi-party state continued, and in December 1991, the then-President Daniel Toroitich Arap Moy repealed Section 2A of the Constitution thereby making Kenya a multi-party state. Months before the 1992 general election, Ford split into two. Ford Kenya, led by Raila's father Jaramogi Oginga Odinga, and Ford Asili, led by Kenneth Matiba. Raila Odinga became Ford Kenya's deputy director of elections and won the Langata constituency parliamentary seat. When his father died in January 1994, the late Michael Kijana Wamalwa succeeded him as Ford Kenya's chairman. Raila challenged him for the party's leadership. He resigned from Ford Kenya to join the National Development Party, NDP. In the 1997 general election, Raila finished third after the then president, Daniel Taroitich Arap Moy, and Democratic Party candidate, Mwai Kibaki. He retained his position as the Langata MP. After the election, a political marriage took place between Raila Odinga's NDP and Moise Kanu. He served in Moise's cabinet as energy minister from June 2001 to 2002. <laughs> In 2002, at the end of Moi's 24-year rule, Moi endorsed Uhuru Kenyatta instead to be his successor. Raila with a number of Kanu members, including his running mate Kalonzo Musioka and the late Professor George Saitoti, opposed the step leading to the birth of the National Rainbow Coalition, NAC, which teamed up to support Kenya's outgoing president, Emilio Mwaikibaki. But it was to be followed by a split within the cabinet over what was termed as betrayal by Kibaki. <laughs> Raila opposed the proposed constitution right after the election of Kibaki as president, culminating to the referendum in 21st November 2005. The government lost by 57% to 43% margin. Kibaki sacked the entire cabinet. Odinga's LDP was thrown out. Another movement was born, the Orange Democratic Movement, ODM. Its party symbol, an orange, which stood for the no vote in the constitutional referendum. He took up the fight for a new constitution ahead of another referendum in 2010, campaigning to its victory. This freedom has eluded 
us for more than 40 years. Each time we came close to attaining it, it slipped from our grasp. Each time we missed it, ever greater repression seemed to replace the justice we sought. August 2007, ODM split into two, with Raila Odinga heading the Orange Democratic Movement, ODM, and Kalonzo Musioka, ODM Kenya. Odinga's party held a delegates conference where he secured majority of votes and became the flag bearer of ODM. The general election was held in December 27, 2007. Why Kibaki was declared the winner on December 30, 2007 in a disputed election leading to the infamous 2007-2008 post-election violence. Thereafter, a power-sharing deal was reached, with Kibaki becoming the president and Odinga the prime minister. Immediately after, Odinga's relationship with his closest ally, William Ruto, who has effectively become the deputy president-elect, took a nose dip. On his third go at the presidency in an election that saw the highest voter turnout, which is over 80 percent, he lost to Uhuru Moigai Kenyatta. For Raila Odinga, the family man, a father of four and a farmer, This is uh, how I get seen <laughs> from all the, the pressures. Oh, uh, oh, yes, yes, sir. Day to day, yes. He will have a lot to tell. But for Raila Odinga, the politician, the presidential seat is one which has been so near, yet so far. Judicus Gay, for Ballot 2013.